I'm going to break down a couple of raids on how using a range scope like the Valde or any range scope you prefer can help you get more consistent kills. This small change in your Tarkov loadout can return big results. Majority of the time, I tend to gravitate to 1x sites, but recently I came to realize how much range scopes benefit me. I'm forced to play differently, but for the better. In this raid, I'm in customs to just farm scavs for therapists, but as I approach the sniper roadblock, a scav gets aggroed, but not at me. My... Wait, is that at me? Not at me, not at me, not at me, not at me. Because of the range I possess, I have the luxury to back up and get a better view of things from a safe distance. If I had a 1x in this situation, I might have had to stick around the area and risk getting spotted by whoever was being aggroed. Things got a bit quiet, so I stayed patient and scoped out the area. Because of the lack of info, I decided to try to get a closer look. After getting a kill like this at range, I always assume there's another one or a teammate. So I'm not gonna go rush for his body. I'm gonna back up and do the same thing. Scope out the area for some info. There's definitely one more. I get confirmation of another one through those gunshots, so I approach from a slightly different angle for my first kill just to change things up and be safe. The last thing I want to be, especially as a solo player, is being predictable. That's the other one. That was a PMC. That's a dual wipe with not a scratch on our PMC and barely 10 bullets used. This playstyle requires a lot of patience and waiting for that perfect angle, but the return is just super worth it. The only issue I have with having a range scope is finding yourself in an unexpected firefight up close and personal. For a moment like this, I prefer to point fire, preferably with a laser. Or you can always go for the canted sight, which I'm personally not a huge fan of. I'd rather point fire or use a variable scope with a 1x. I barely survived that. My helmet saved me, but the point fire came in clutch. Point fires are great for moments where you're caught off guard, but if you're prepared for the encounter, using the 1x on a variable scope works out pretty well. The best part about this range playstyle is having more chances of being in the right place at the right time. Let me show you what I mean. I'm here at the back of Ollie heading to the back office to check if logistics office was unlocked. But on the way there, I hear gunshots nearby. Um, oh. That sounds like a player. I mean... That was a player. This kill might have been possible with a 1x sight, but for myself personally, I might have probably whiffed or gotten hit by this guy first. I later found out my opponent had a suppressed Mosin, which could have easily outsniped me. But the Valde put in the work and I got this clean kill. Having the range, especially as a solo player, allows you to be prepared and versatile for any situation that Tarkov just throws at you. In this next raid, I need to get into the West Wing roof of Resort to find one of the satellite dishes for Peacekeeper. But I run into a guy gatekeeping the resort from the East Wing. No way, dude. All I saw was his head. What do you mean? I can't believe he repeaked. I didn't expect him to repeak at all. Oh, 
I saw was his head. What the hell did I hit, chat? His shoulder? Because he did that initial re-peek, I had a gut feeling that if I stayed patient enough, he'd get greedy and re-peek again. I waited a whole three minutes and finally... He re-peeked. But I think he saw me, that's why I, I ran, chat. He peeked his head out again in my direction, so I assumed he saw me. I wasn't prepared for that, so to play it safe, I flanked further left. Again, just like earlier in the video, I want to mix it up, even if it's just a slight change of angle. He never took the shot though, so I don't know if he saw me, but it, it looked like he was aligned with me. <clears throat> I need to get him. There he is. Finally. <sighs> We're gonna do them later. Uh, we'll do our quest in the West Wing first. I'll consider checking his body a little later. He might have teammates. Like I just mentioned, I'm assuming this guy has teammates and they should be expecting me to run up to the East Roof and loot the body. But instead, I'm going ahead to the West Wing to do my quest. Delaying the loot is something I like doing as a solo player versus squads. Although there's a chance I might lose the loot to his teammates as they can just take it and get out. That's okay to me, as long as I survive. But if they do stick around, usually I catch the victim's teammates at an awkward position. Maybe they're in the middle dumping their friends loot or they're on the way out basically they have their guard down again keeping myself unpredictable and mixing things up is what i want to do here that's the body right there The three men. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Mouse, please, what the? F my mouse malfunctions for a second there, so I end up losing my targets. I don't know where the other guys are anymore. <laughs> I, I don't want to repeat that. It's not good to repeat. It fucks up like that. That was so annoying. It was a three man. I saw a guy to the right, but he wasn't looking at me, chat. Oh, there he is. I hit him once. That was the third guy. It was funny. There were three men. The guy I killed was in the middle. There was a guy much closer to me, but in the corner of my eye, I noticed he wasn't looking at me. I crossed over to the east wing roof to check on our first victim, but as expected, he was looted by his squad. But it's all good. I finished my task and survived. I ran back shoreline to do the drone quest. I got the weather station spawn, so I decided to get an early sniper angle on the spawns by the drone to clear it out first before heading there. Oh, right there. You got a target. You just hit right there. I couldn't finish the job, so it's time to flank. Even if I'm suppressed, this guy has a good idea where the shots are coming from. Again, the goal is to be super unpredictable. Let's just do a full flank. I like to believe he was behind that death blade, right? Timing wise, I doubt he got away without me knowing. I should have seen him cross the field if he did. So I'm convinced he's somewhere around here, probably healing up in a bush or behind a small hill. I'm gonna go for an even deeper flank to end up totally behind his last known position. I have a feeling he actually healed up in a bush or something. Oh, there he is. Notice how he stopped by that big rock to probably heal up or something. He had no idea we ended up behind him. I'd like to believe he still thought we were to his 12 o'clock. He did not expect that deep flank. GG's. But of course, every playstyle has its own troubles. Sometimes, I end up running into PMCs too close for comfort and get into aim battles, which I'd rather not have if I could choose. In this one, I come across what looks like a 3 or 4 man. Two PMCs right there. After dropping one, it's time for the full flank. Oh, 
You see one still? They're still here, they're still here. Okay, we know they're still here. Let's back up. They're looking for me. Let's see user range. They're gonna see these doors open. I gotta close this. They're here, they're here, they're here. Close, close, close. So it's not obvious. As I'm trying to make my flank, I run into some trouble. You probably heard that though. Uh, so here's the plan. We're gonna go all the. Oh fuck! Whatever. Keep them alive. Player scabs are starting to trickle in, and it doesn't help that I'm making noise trying to deal with them. The squad continues to hunt for me. The plan is just to stay at range and try to snipe them one at a time. Oh, there! I see one. I see one. I see one. We know they're still there. We could get an angle if we get on the other ramp. They're actually still around looking for me. Jeez, so much for playing quiet. They're still throwing nades at Goshan. I'm low on hydration and ammo, so this is my last chance. Man, the, the cha- Oh, they're, they're still there. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look at that, chat. Oh. It's three. There's still three there, chat. <laughs> This was my last straw. We've tried hard enough and it's time to call it. I didn't have to fight the whole squad, but it was more of a fun thing to attempt. By using this mindset and playstyle discussed in this video, we held our own against a much bigger squad. Playing the range and flanking kept us alive for another day and another fight. It can be frustrating to lose your targets, but that's part of the game and it happens a lot when I play like this. It's an L I'll take though. This is the beauty of playing at range, especially as a solo. If you F it up, you still live another day. Learning how to flank is a great part of this playstyle. If you want to see how I use this to do sniper runs, check this video out right here.